what does that role of the engineer look like? Um, you know, we, we talked really heavily in this session about the move towards remote first. Is remote first the new default? Is that the first part of the new normal? Um, there's quite a bit of, uh, there's arguments on either side uh, around this. Uh, yeah. Let's see from the quotes. Uh, Tony, uh, again, Tony Chapman, general manager for Siemens for customer services. The value for me in the engineer is the knowledge. It is not the knowledge of the product. It is knowledge of the product and the process that we deliver to a customer. And then you have to devolve that to a remote service. The benefits of that to the customer are that you get the expertise on hand. The question is how much does value does the customer see in that expertise? And again, to reference Jed, when we look at our engineers' bonuses, uh, we prepare them for going to site. But when they sit in the car and I think they will, and they think I can fix that and save myself a 40-mile journey, what he does is he saves himself a 40-mile trip at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, but he loses out on his bonus. So why not pay our engineers 1.5% if he sees the call come through on the service desk, rings the customer, resolves the issue, um, and then let's help teach the new technicians how to go about that call. Um, what we really saw, uh, and Kim, this wasn't a session that you were sat on, so it'd be good to get uh, your fresh insight on this one. Uh, what we really saw was there was this divided conversation uh, between do we need to guide our customers towards remote first is the way forward and start having firm conversations about um, uptime you know, and, and the quicker resolution. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. a lot of customers will see that, that the value in having that engineer on site. That is a, a fundamental part of where their value perception is. Um, yeah. Where do you sit on that? And also, do you think that we're going to get a bit more of a balance and we'll return back towards maybe um, more, more, you know, we may, we may go default remote first, but then yeah. the engineer on site maybe becomes a premium. What's your thoughts on that, Keith? Well, two elements to it. And on, one, for, on one hand side, uh, what have you sold to your customer? Are you fixing downtime or are you selling uptime? I think mm -hmm. if you are selling the fixing of downtime, then I think the customer is really seeing the value of the technician on site. And if the technician isn't on site anymore and you start fixing it remotely, then it is a completely different value proposition. On the other hand, if you're selling uptime, well, then for the customer, it should be oblivious if you do it with the technician on site or remote and maybe even doing it, uh, so, uh, fixing it with a mm -hmm. remote type of service has a lesser impact on the downtime of the customer. So I think you first have to know what the customer is buying. On the other hand, I also always take into account service is not only a matter of, let's say, metrics. I also see that service has a human element to it. I do see that there are a lot of customers out there who really value the seeing of a technician on site, and that te especially when the technician on site is not only fixing the product, but if the technician is also fixing the customer by providing additional services, how you could better use utilize a piece of equipment, for that you need human interaction. So I really think that depending on what you're tasking your technicians to do, fixing the downtime or selling the uptime or even fixing the customer, I think we, you will see a hybrid model there. But yeah. I definitely see that a lot of customers who have been reluctant in allowing remote connectivity or remote service because they always saw a fear of connectivity, the firewall, etc. I think a lot of those customers right now see that they have to reassess the fear of opening up a, cha a channel in the firewall versus their need for uptime. And that's then I'm mm -hmm. coming back to the meme uh, Daniel was referring to. Option number C is indeed COVID is a very good motivator for customers to reassess their remote connectivity policy.